Hello everyone and welcome to a new video. Today we're going to cover raindrop.io. If you were looking for a free bookmark manager, then this is definitely one of the best out there. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, the first thing we're going to cover is why should you use raindrop? I mean, for most people, the built-in bookmark manager in your web browser is more than enough. It lets you create folders, organize your bookmark list, import it, export it, and save it on your web browser account. So you can access it if you log into that web browser on a different computer. But for me, and I'm sure for a lot of people, the default bookmark manager is not enough. For example, if there are any articles or web pages that you want to save, but you don't want them in your main bookmark list and you don't want to access them every day, or for example, if you're collecting articles or online courses or useful websites on topics that you're learning or interested in, then using a bookmark manager like Raindrop could be the right choice for you. And what's amazing about Raindrop is that it's cross platforms, so you can use it on your computer as a piece of software, on your phone, on your Mac device, and also it's a web app, so you can simply enter the website, click on login, and enter your account information, and you will have full access to your bookmark list. To start using Raindrop, first you must create a free account. It's simple and straightforward. All you need is your username, email, and password. You can also directly open an account with your Google, with Google, your Mac account, or other social media platforms. Once you create a free account, this is the screen that you're going to see. You should install the browser extension that will make your experience with this app easier. You can also import your bookmarks from your web browser. So first, we will install the extension. As you can see, it's available in all web browsers. For me, I'm going to select Chrome. Now simply add the extension to your web browser. Once you install the extension, you can choose the appearance that you will see whenever you try to add a bookmark. You can choose the mini app with more options and features and the clipper is simpler and more straightforward. Personally I prefer the clipper appearance and then click on continue. Okay now we're done installing the extension. Let's add some web pages, videos and articles and images to our list. To add any website simply click on the icon then click save you can change the collection the tags and the url but we will cover all of that inside the app now let's refresh the app and organize our bookmarks list to organize your bookmark list you can create groups and collections to create a group simply click on the plus button for example, I'm going to call it web. Now you can select all your bookmarks and add them to your group. You can also change the icon of your collections. To do that, simply right click, then click on change icon. You can choose from the collection this website offer. You can also search here for something more specific. For example, I'm going to select this icon right here. Now you can edit any web page you have on your list. To do that, simply click on edit. You can change the collection. You can add tags. You can also add description. For example, I'm going to add to this file the tag image. And for this YouTube video, I'm going to add the tag video. And as you can see beneath the file title, 
you see the image tag right here you can add as much tags as you want with collections and tags you can easily find the content that you want if you click on the search bar right here you will see all the tags that you added and you can access a type of content related to the tag you choose with one simple click this is a nice feature that will help you organize your list you can also change the view of your list by clicking on the list button right here you can choose cards headlines mood board and you can also choose to show or hide any of these items right here like the cover title description for example i'm going to uncheck the cover and the cover from all bookmarks is hidden right now you can also control the size of the cover from this slider at the bottom you can also sort your bookmark list by name or date from here with the raindrop you can access your bookmarks directly from the app right here simply click on the view icon on your bookmark and as you can see you can access the website directly from here for example let's preview a video and as you can see you can watch the video from here you can also view your images directly from here this is a great way to preview the web page before you have to open it to open a web page simply click on this button right here or you can also open it from here to access the settings menu simply click on your username then choose settings you can change the theme but I will leave the settings menu for you to discover all we're going to cover today is the import and backup options to import your bookmarks simply click on upload file right here you can upload HTML, CSV, NX and text files and to backup your bookmark list simply click on the backup tab now click on export HTML file and now this app will send you your bookmark list to your Google account you can download it and save it on your computer another option they offer is cloud backup you can backup your list on your Dropbox or Google Drive account but it's only available for pro users the pro version does offer some extra features like nested collections duplicate finder broken links finder suggested tags and you can upload up to 10 gigabytes of files per month but for more people the free version is more than enough there are other great bookmark managers that you can use for free like save to pocket and e-link and digo but for me raindrop is the best one i used so far I've been using it for more than two years and so far it's working perfectly well if you have a different favorite bookmark manager then share it with us in the description below and if this video was helpful don't forget to like and subscribe until I see you next time bye